Hi guys, this is what we're going to model today. It's a modern coffee table and here is our uh, Im reference image. I found this on Google, not a big deal, it's a simple project. It should be easy to do. We we'll start off by uh, creating a simple plane. Just trying to keep the propor proportions of the wood wooden planks that I saw in the reference image. Now we're going to add a shell to give it some some depth. Let's go back to the plane and delete the segments. We only need one for this one. Yeah, so as I said, this is a very, very simple, very simple model. It should not take a lot of time to do. I will try to show you some different techniques that I use when I model stuff. Now let's uh, create a polygon object from this from this simple plane, extruded plane. As you can see down on the bottom of the screen, it shows the, the, the buttons that I'm pressing as I'm working. Now I've just duplicated the plane and then using the increments, the increments button, I've rotated it 19 degrees. I've opened the, per the perspective and then the orthographic view in order to make this snap exactly as I want it to. Um, I've moved into the sub-object in the vertex mode and made some changes there. I'm just trying to follow the reference image and make it look like it's represented there. I think that, that is, that's a, the, a real photograph. I will try to, to create this model as photographically accurate as I can. I'm just moving the side, the side uh, leg to the left a little. Then I've changed the pivot to the, the other plank, the center of the plank, and now using this technique Oh yeah, I forgot to I forgot that I have to create some some round edges. This is a technique that I often use for simple pro square models like this one. I'm just creating some support edges all across the model and using the same smoothing group, the end result would be some nice looking round edges. You can use chamfer or there are different methods to to achieve the same result but as you can see from a few meters it looks like the the edges are perfectly round this is a trick that you can use on a lot of different project uh, product projects and products and uh, the cool thing is if you want to change the settings or the the chamfer you can just go ahead and delete these support edges a thing that you could have uh, cannot do if you let's say round these edges using chamfer okay moving along with a pivot in the center of the other plank I'm just copying using mirror copying one to the other side there's another level a little below which I'm creating right now trying to eyeball it and then we will make the further adjustments if needed moving the vertexes vertices now I think that one part is completed I will just simply copy it in the other side I'm not 100 100% sure that this is perfectly proportionate so I'm just selecting all the objects, placing on top of them an edit poly modifier, and then you can go ahead and change all the vertex vertices at the same time for all the uh, for all the objects selected. Then converting it to editable poly, you simply collapsed every everything. All right, I think that it looks better now. Let's copy it on the other side without the the board from below because that's one object. I will just move the vertices on the other side and make it a little longer. Yep. Let's go to the top view 
and adjust it as needed. Okay, it looks good. Next, I'm gonna create the upper part, upper bigger uh, plank, if you wish. Let me just use this one, moving to the left side, and again moving some vertices to get the shape that I want. Okay. Looks okay so far. Let's create a side, the smaller side walls for the table. Mm. I have a lot of ideas in my mind right now. I think that I would choose the simpler one, just moving the the vertices, the entire object, eyeballing everything. If you think about it, even in real life, nothing is exactly perfect, so it should look good in the final rendering. Okay, let's move this up. Let's see, a little up. That looks okay. Next part, change the pivot to the center of one plank from above, then using mirror and copy, we have it on the other side as well. Next, we should create the, the glass on top of the, the table, again using shift and dragging, and then sub object mode vertices, and just copying it. And move it, moving it. Okay, perspective view, everything looks okay. Let's move the, the pivots to the center of each object. Yep, and that's it. That's it so far. See you on the next part when we are gonna render this model.